biggest element of how total leadership changed things for me was it gave me the conviction to graduate without a job because I was looking for something really distinct. And that at the time I was looking for, I wanted to create a venture capital private equity firm in a niche space. So to join something really nascent on the ground and build it. And my expertise had been in uh, on the buy side. And so I was trying to leverage those strengths and gain the courage to go and try something off the beaten path. And it was over the course of this class that I really spent the time uh, analyzing what my values were and what really drove me and what made me happy at the end of the day. And it gave me uh, one of my core values is family. And I realized I had been on the East Coast for the majority of my career. I'm originally from Colorado. And it uh, it's solidified for me that I graduated and spent six months in Vermont building a house with my father because I hadn't seen or spent a lot of time with him and it was something that was really important to me. And I felt that uh, if I committed the time then, if I didn't do it then, I would always regret it. And then I ended up joining a venture capital firm that focused on higher education. It was on its first fund. And shortly there, and I was uh, also really focused on where I would be. Pre-Wharton, I was very, you know what, I'll be a Merck, I'll go anywhere, it doesn't matter what city. But I learned that outdoors is a really core value of mine. It's how I recharge. It's uh, just, it, I develop, I work through things when I'm on the ski slope. I love climbing 14 or 14,000 foot peaks in Colorado. And it told me that, uh, listen, Colorado, Oregon, like there are certain states that I was gonna be a lot happier in than others and that I was gonna hold out for the right opportunity in those locations. And so when I found the position with UV to establish their Denver office and build one primary portfolio company, Aris, I was thrilled. And then a few months later, I had the decision of whether or not I'd go to New York and be a partner of the venture capital firm or I would stay with Aris and build just that one entity. And it was going back to my core values, what really made me happy and what drove me that gave me the conviction to take the flyer and really try and focus on building Aris and stay in Denver. Um, what else would I say for, the key thing that I take away uh, from this class more than anything is, uh, Stu's words are being leaders in different domains of your life. For me, it's really about being proactive versus reactive in different domains of your life. And some of the tools that you'll learn here is how to really think about what matters to you and be proactive about managing towards that and achieving the balance that you want. And because for me, I know that uh, when I am not in my power, when I am working I'm, you know, over 100 hours a week and I'm, I don't have that perspective, I am just reacting to different things in different domains of my life as they come at me. And it was through uh, my stakeholder dialogues and developing you know, my experiments. To this day, I still use my scorecard. On, you know, one of my items on my scorecard is to send two proactive emails a week uh, to, uh, to, to my different communities. And that's helped me actually keep in touch, like force myself to send an email to one of my Wharton classmates that I haven't uh, spoken to in six months. And that's allowed me to really connect and, and focus on who I really want to consciously engage with uh, in my life. And the last point I'll say is I'm 30 years old in this company and I'm the youngest person by at least 15 years. And, but the, the value exercises, the leadership vision really helped. And then the storytelling that you can do around your values is one of the best ways to establish credibility with uh, people of any age range because you can engage authentically with them and say, this is really important to me. And here's the story of how I've committed to that and what that says about me. And it's enabled me to establish a rapport with uh, many others and then engage in you know, more difficult conversations that many of my colleagues you know, still struggle with today. <laughs>